Hello again, DJ Vic Vapor with you. And in this tutorial, I'm going to cover a few different aspects to kind of just finish up the course of uh, what's new and improved in Logic Pro 10, 10.3. Um, let me see, where do I want to start? Let's start with, uh, let's take a look at buses. Buses before, was, well, I think we had up to like 32, but they've now added an option to go all the way up to 256. So if you're in that kind of studio environment where you do need that many buses to create for any of your projects. Well, guess what? The guys have made it possible. So 256 now bus option. And let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Let's talk about, um, oh, the, uh, 64 bit. So we're going to go to file. Now we're able to, um, sum at 64 bit, which wasn't available to us before. So file and uh, let me remember now where did I find that oh, actually it's logic pro preferences audio and down here high precision summing at 64 bit or if you want to go back to standard 32 but if you look at summing it's more like an equation would be like the uh, clarity of your TV screen you know, um, high definition versus standard, you know, 720, 10, 1080p, that kind of thing. You're just getting a little bit better or actually a lot better high, uh, high resolution sound there as far as 64 bit summing. It's kind of the easiest way I can explain it. So moving on, we now have the option for crossfades and we can do that with multiple, um, uh, regions now. So let me, you want to highlight what you want to crossfade. So I'm going to highlight this one this one and this one, we've got them all highlighted. We go over here and we grab our fade tool and then we just simply select the area we want to fade and let go. And you can see that it's done it in all three of the highlighted areas. You know, something we've been looking for, something I've been hoping for for quite a while. So, and you can bend that and it'll update on all three as well. So. Really, really cool feature there. Multiple uh, regions, crossfading, and you know things like that all at once. So, gonna kind of clean up your workflow quite a bit. Really cool stuff. Now, there are some things I wasn't really able to to display, and you can kind of maybe discover on your own. But I know there's the option now for support if you have a laptop or whatever with the control bar surface, one of the newer laptops, there's support now that the control bar surface is something that's uh, you're able to manipulate and use. And it'll also update instantly with GarageBand and, and now syncs with GarageBand a little bit better with some of your projects. And I believe, I'm pretty sure I read in there about XML importing and exporting and things like that. So if you're dealing with uh, movie scenarios or anything within the movie field, it'll now support XML files and XML um, exporting and importing and all those fun things. So you might have to do a little bit of research to understand exactly how that's going to work. I wasn't able to really kind of bring that up and display it in this little tutorial. I just wanted to cover the things that were most beneficial to someone like myself who's just in straight in the music production side of things. So hopefully you've uh, been able to gain some really good insights and in, in what's new and improved in Logic Pro 10.3. As always, uh, share, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.